Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 2 where it's very hard to see what's going on here. But we are aligning for our burn. I believe this is, if we move around over here, we can see a little bit better. I believe this is going to be our, if we can get zoomed out here, our transfer burn, correct? Yeah, this is our home and transfer. Okay, so that is absolutely fine. Let's just, where are we rotating to? Um, okay. I guess we're flipping around. I guess our home and transfer is here now. We were just aligned to it. All I did was go into the map here, and I guess that changed it? It looks like we're still on the exact same maneuver. Okay, whatever. I think that's probably fine. Let's just get aligned here again and warp our way on over. Very exciting stuff. I'm not sure why it changed, but whatever. We're warping. It thinks we're out of electric charge. We are not. We're full on electric charge. Okay. I have no idea what the game is thinking right now. <laughs> this is going to be interesting, for sure. We're continuing to warp forward. We're about two minutes out from our burn now. And we'll go a little bit closer to about 30 seconds out from the burn. In fact, we can warp faster than this. Okay. We're now about 10 seconds out from the burn, and 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, mark. And off we go. So this is going to be 496 meters per second, and of course, we need to make sure that we're, we're actually burning the correct direction. This is basically retrograde. Yeah, that seems fine. Burning retrograde here is correct. So that seems okay. We're going to be keeping an eye on our Eve periapsis here. But of course, this is going to be a pretty long burn. Six minutes. So we should probably bring up our warp a bit. At least 10x. Yeah, let's bring it up to 50x for now. Cool. So we're going to be burning through a lot of this side tank fuel. Absolutely. But we've got lots left. So I'm going to take it down to 1x now. And we're actually very, very close here. We're just bringing this in to about here. It's not perfect. It's not exactly where we wanted it to be, but that's okay. This is good enough. Absolutely no problem whatsoever there. So next we need to warp to that Eve encounter. So the Eve periapsis is going to be in zero years, 163 days. So if we warped here, this is actually past the encounter. We want to warp elsewhere. So that's exciting. Let's warp a little bit closer here. I'm just going to manually warp this. I really wish that we could select in here and warp to here the way you can in KSP-1. That would be really, really, really convenient. Let's take this up to 10,000 decks. Okay. Let's take it up to 100,000 decks. Even that's kind of slow. Let's maximize this. Okay. Bringing it back a little bit. At this point, we're close enough that we should be able to auto-warp. So we want to auto-warp to about here. There we go. Excellent. So that's going to be entering the, the Eve Sphere of Influence. And the question is, do we have any other reason to be here other than this mission? Well, we can do an our experiment here in Eve High Orbit. That's fine. We're not technically in orbit, but okay. Let's head back to Mission Control for the time being. And we've got looking inward completed, giving us 3,000 science. We'll submit that. This seems good. Yep. They uh, very much liked the, I don't know how they heard about the poem recitation, but whatever. We, uh, we don't have a comms connection, but okay. Thanks, science. So that gives us under pressure. Land on Eve with a vessel with 10 Kerbals and return to Kerbin. Okay, that's going to be quite a thing. Perform an environment survey experiment at the oblique impact site on Gilly. Land in the Mohole on Moho. Okay, so this is something we could do with the mission, or rather with the vehicle that we've got right now. So in theory, that seems good. Let's head back to the VAB. We're going to grab the lander, and we're going to have to enter orbit around Eve. So let's see here. There's some debris here, apparently. But we don't care about... Well, we could actually get rid of this debris. None of this debris is relevant. 
And that might make the game run a little better if we get rid of it. So that would probably be for the best. So let's get rid of all of this debris that is in orbit around Kerbal. Yes, go ahead and get rid of this. Can we just mash enter? That would be nice if we could. No, we cannot. So that is very sad that we cannot mash enter there. And we're just going to confirm all of that. Around Kerbin, do we have any debris here? Yes. So let's clean all of that up. Okay, there we go. So we're going to be escaping Eve eventually, but let's control this. We need to enter orbit around Eve at this point. So entering orbit here is going to require a retrograde burn around here. Let's bring that right on around. And the question is a gilly interception, right? So I think that we should probably make this be a little bit more minimal of a burn. Something kind of like this. And just enter an orbit. So that's going to be 442 meters per second. That's absolutely fine. Let's align for that burn. And that's going to take a little bit to turn to. We've still got a lot of mass in this thing. No doubt about that. But let's get into position for this. This will be about a 4 minute and 47 second burn, which is absolutely fine. Hi, Kerbal. And hi, Eve, down here. We can't really pick out Gilly. It is teeny tiny, and that's absolutely fine. So we're going to have very little that we have to do in terms of landing in a particular location on Gilly. That should be very easy to do in terms of Delta V. So we'll get into position for this retrograde burn, which is going to be about right here. And we're going to warp forward about the three days and three hours that we need to do that. So, hi, Eve. Cool. So we're going to warp forward a little further than this. We're about two minutes away from the burn point. And this is going to burn out all of our side tanks, which is absolutely fine. That is going to increase our thrust to weight. So we're very happy about that, honestly. 20 seconds, 10, and bring this back to 1x time warp. 4, 3, 2, 1, mark. And there we go. We are now breaking. Now the question is... Do we actually care about this maneuver? No, is the answer. We do not care about this maneuver. All we want to do here is get into an orbit. But this is going to be a fairly lengthy burn, so let's accelerate that burn a little bit. Cool. We've got about 300 meters per second left in these side tanks, and that is absolutely fine. Now, EVE is a very dense world and has a high gravitational pull, at least in KSP-1. I've never been to it in KSP-2. But in KSP-1, it absolutely has a very, very high gravitational pull. And it is a little hard to work with. But it's very good to slingshot around. And that's probably going to be our plan for returning. Okay, uh, yeah. Approaching partially out of fuel orbital event. Yeah, that's fine. Bring it down to 1x. We've got 18 meters per second left. Is that enough to enter orbit here? Probably not, is my guess. We've got about 10 seconds-ish of burn time left. So we're going to want to ditch this stage as soon as it is burnt out, which is right now. Okay. Hang on. Is this stage empty? It shouldn't be. It's returning empty right now. Hang on, hang on, let's check here. We may have accidentally broken some of our other things, but let's find out. Yes, this stage is empty. In which case, we're just going to ditch this. Cool. So that stage shouldn't be empty, but clearly something went wrong with our fuel lines, and that's absolutely fine. So let's just bring this into an orbit. There we go. That'll do. We've got plenty of Delta V even without that. We've got way more than 4,888, to be clear. We've got more than enough Delta V here. So I want to set Gilly as our target, and we're going to have to change our inclination a fair amount here. 11 degrees? Yeah, that's not surprising. Okay, so this inclination change, that's not so bad, actually. Wow, this is way cheaper than I expected it to be. So right about there, 44 meters per second. Okay, I mean, this is a pretty wide orbit. So I guess that makes some amount of sense, but wild. <laughs> okay, we'll absolutely accept that. That's wonderful. 
So 44 meters per second is really not bad. Really not bad at all. We're going to have to warp around to that. That'll be in 15 days. We should align to it first. And that's absolutely okay. And we'll have more than enough DV to do what we need to do and take off on this and return home. That This will be absolutely fine for a ghillie landing. No problem whatsoever. We're just going to have to slingshot around correctly. I'm wondering about directionality. Slingshotting might not be the right call. We'll see. Regardless, returning from ghillie will not be all that difficult. So I'll just bring this on down 240.5 meters per second right now. We're still 20 minutes away. Let's warp a little bit further. There's Eve down there. Quite a long ways away still. 40 seconds until this inclination change. 30. 20. 10. And 3, 2, 1. Mark. Excellent. Okay, we overshot it ever so slightly. Let's see what this looks like. It's probably good enough. Uh, 0 0.2. Yeah, it'll get us the encounter. We're going to have to do an inclination change once we get to Gilly anyway, because I have no idea where this thing is. Actually, it's reasonably equatorial. So that would be okay. We can probably get there quite easily. So at this point, we need to... Ooh, gimbal locking there. Okay, we need to encapsulate Gilly's orbit or find some sort of a some sort of an encounter, right? So if we bring this down, it's going to be kind of awkward because we're in a pretty elliptical orbit here. But something up over here looks pretty decent. Probably a little bit of radial burn just to ease that in ever so slightly. Yeah, a little bit of radial there. That looks like that should be an encounter. How are we missing this? Uh-huh. What do we got going on here? Distance from target, 186,000 kilometers. So that's probably... I want to see this from a different angle. Because of the overshoot in our inclination... Possibly. But I don't think so. Okay, let's try that again. We're going to create a maneuver plan here. Let's bring this in retrograde. Bringing it from this angle. And we're going to toss in... No, I don't want to have Eve highlighted there. I want to just toss in a little bit of radial. Where are we at? We're up over here right now? Sure. So we're going to need to change that timing a little bit and bring it up over here. That really looks like that should be an encounter. Okay. Let's just tweak this ever so slightly. Man, that's so close. Distance of 191 kilometers. If we go this way, does that change it? 193? Okay. And this is now 184. Cool. So dialing this in is going to be a whole thing. <laughs> Gilly's sphere of influence is kind of absurdly small, it seems. But let's bring this guy in a little bit on the retrograde marker. I don't know why our prograde disappeared on us. There it's back. Interesting. There we go. That's a Gilly encounter. Do we care what encounter it is? A little bit. We want this to be fairly equatorial, right? Where's our maneuver node at? There it is. And so I want to bring this in to be something a bit more like this. That's an impact trajectory. Okay. Noted. So we're going to have to bring it up over this way. And then out over this direction. Everything wants to move it vertically. We might just have to do an inclination change once we get there. Or 
or just change our timing slightly. That's a lot better. It's not perfect, but it's good enough. That'll work for now. So let's align to that burn. That's only a 77 meter per second burn to get us to that encounter. And we're going to be moving pretty quickly once we get there. We're going to have to do a fairly hefty breaking burn, but that should be fine. So let's get aligned for this burn. I do wish that it didn't have us zoomed in maximally every time we exit the, exited the map. Remembering our zoom level would be nice, but unfortunately that doesn't appear to be a thing. So we've got about 10 days left on this burn. We're going to be home and transferring over to Gilly here, and we have to be fairly accurate with this. We know that this is a very sensitive maneuver. Okay, we should auto warp further. We're about 15 minutes away from the burn right now. Now about 10 minutes. Five minutes. Okay, now we're about 30 seconds away. So, we're going to have to be quite careful with this. So let's hop into Gilly. And we're going to start this burn in a few seconds here. 20 seconds. 10 seconds. And three, two, one, mark. Okay. So we're going to do the majority of this burn at full thrust, but I'm absolutely going to cut the throttle early here. Because it's going to be very sensitive once we get in here. Cutting the throttle now, and we're just going to do it very, very gently. We're on 30% thrust right now. Okay. So that is our current... That's as good as we're going to get. Cool. So right around here is when we would do our braking burn. So this will do. We're not in the absolute ideal inclination for it, but it is reasonably fine. So this would be in eight days. That seems about right. Yes. That's in 35 days. That's the wrong one. So we want to warp to here. Excellent. So in we go, and we can see Gilly is right over here. It should be basically between us and Eve, although a little below Eve. We may be able to see it by now. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, there's Gilly right there. Fantastic. I don't know where... Oh, there's Eve. It's kind of hard to see, and also this is permanently highlighted now. I don't know why, but whatever. We're going to warp forward to the encounter point, of course, and that is going to be somewhere up over here. When is that going to be? Two hours? Yes, that is correct. So we'll warp forward here. And our encounter will be fairly shortly. Okay. So I want to warp up to here. And we're almost into the Gilly Sphere of Influence. Fantastic. Now we're in the, gil the Gilly Sphere of Influence, and we want to do a breaking burn somewhere around here to enter an orbit. We don't really care what orbit we enter, just an orbit. But I would like for it to be fairly circular. This is not circular at all. This is extraordinarily elliptical. And I guess that'll have to do for right now. Well, it's because of our inclination wh why this looks elliptical. This is actually a circular orbit here. It's just inclined. So that'll be okay, and we'll align for that burn. And we're on our way in to Gilly. Here we see Gilly and Eve and Kerbal all in the same shot. That's nice. I like that. I don't necessarily know why this is highlighted. Maybe we could get rid of it by coming in the resource monitor? Also, we should run experiments here. There we go. So let's go into the resource monitor and see if we can maybe unhighlight this by mousing over it here. Nope. Okay, it's just stuck highlighted. Whatever. We've got 31 minutes here until our breaking burn. We're going to warp forward, and we've got about 40 seconds now. 30 seconds. 10 seconds. And 4, 3, 2, 1, mark. And we are burning. You can see here our orbital velocity is extraordinarily low. So it requires very little delta V to make our way around here. 
Okay, that's close enough. That will absolutely do. Now, this inclination is reasonably fine, but I want to put us on retrograde, which we're already on, and I want to just drop this periapsis down a fair amount here to somewhere around, like, sure, 19 kilometers will do. I just want to get a little bit lower here. So we're going to bring this on down and circularize about there. Where are we? Okay, there's the apoapsis. Cool. So right about there or so. Three meters per second is what that's going to take. Okay. Gilly's gravity is so low. I mean, look at this. We're moving at 7.2 meters per second for orbital velocity. Insane. Well, let's align for that burn, which is going to be somewhere, for sure. Presumably, yeah, it's over on the other side here. That's fine. Not particularly surprising there. I don't want to land with this on the night side of Gilly. So we're going to have to wait until this comes around to the day side. That's reasonably fine. Let's warp forward a bit here. And yeah, it's coming around now. We're kind of in a stationary orbit right now, but not exactly. That's interesting. This definitely has a good amount of rotation to it. Okay, so we are capped at 100x for our warp right now because we're going to be pretty low. That's going to be a little exciting. We're going to have to get lined up and bring this in. Of course, our inclination is going to have to change quite a bit from over here. In fact, let's stop this warp. Let's bring this back and let's get rid of this maneuver for right now. I want to do an inclination change somewhere around here. And I want to bring us up to be about there or so, but I also want to keep that periapsis reasonably low. That's 15 kilometers. Let's bring it down to like 10. Okay, something about like that. That's 6 meters per second. That's fine. We'll get aligned for it. And that should put us in a reasonable position to land here, in theory. We'll see where we're at when we're here. Where is this going to be? That's the question. So this is 6 meters per second, which is a very small amount of meters per second. We're warping forward here at maximum warp, which is 100x at this height. We're not very high up right now. We're 50 kilometers away, but it's going to be a little awkward with the warping around Gilly. Just because it's so small. And the warping rules do not seem to be designed for this. Hang on. We have a comm connection? Is that what that's indicating? This straight line here? If so, that would be very strange. We should not have a comm connection. Jeb is just on his own and has been for a while now. <laughs> He's been at this for almost two years. Okay, so we're going to commence this burn basically any time is fine. I'm going to do it now. Yeah, this is looking pretty decent. There we go. That's about what we want. Now, let's warp it up to about here. Because we definitely want to be falling towards Gilly here. I feel like we're not lined up for this. But maybe that's not true. I don't know. We are accelerating. Which is, of course, good. So we're wanting to be, like, directly over this crater, right? If we look at Gilly itself, outside of the map, we can see that's where we're trying to go. Which is fine. We're only about 30 kilometers away from it right now. This is looking kind of decent, actually. Yeah, we're going to have to do a small inclination change here. But we could sometime around here create a maneuver plan and change our inclination to go down like this or so. But then also bring it in retrograde, which of course these are going to interact with each other in a, in a slightly awkward manner. But we can bring this in to be an impact point sometime around here or so. Maybe even a bit more like this. I like it. 
So that is going to be 10 meters per second in about three minutes. Let's align for that. And we'll make additional alterations to our trajectory as we're on our way in, I'm sure. But I do want to head over there. And this is going to be so little Delta V to get this all done. I notice that we still haven't fixed these landing lights. <laughs> we probably should. But at this point, I want to just get this landing done this episode. So let's do that. We're about 30 seconds away from this burn. Let's warp further. 10 seconds. And two, one, mark. Just getting that last little bit of DV in there. Okay, that's going the wrong direction, overshooting slightly. That is fine. That should be reasonably good. So let's warp to about here. That's going to be about 18 minutes to warp. And you can see this is heading towards our marker. And we are falling towards Gilly right now. So we're down to 4x warp at this point. Noted. We still appear to be on approximately the correct trajectory. Let's bring this over to surface retrograde. And let's bring this to 1x for right now. This is definitely looking a bit low resolution right now. I'm sure higher resolution textures will load in once we get a little bit closer. But let's get into position for a retrograde burn. I'm going to extend our landing legs even though it's completely useless. It's They're, they're just kind of hilarious. And we are going to continue to warp forward as quickly as we can. We're on 4x warp here. We're still very high up for Gilly. So there is that. Now, note how this is showing the collider up here. This is probably a sphere collider. This is not showing our impact trajectory within the crater. So that is absolutely noted. And we're just falling towards the surface faster and faster. I mean, not tremendously faster. But we are falling towards the surface here. We can see our ground altitude is about 9 kilometers, and we're 9.5 kilometers away here. This is continuing to get closer as we head in. The question is, did I eyeball it correctly? It's going to be pretty close. And we have so much Delta V here for this that we can absolutely get a whole bunch of course corrections done if we need to. We don't need to, probably. As of right now, this is looking pretty decent. I kind of want more speed. <laughs> If we need to get more horizontal speed, we can do that. I think it's probably... It might be necessary. I wish we could warp a little faster than 4x. We cannot. And that's because we're so low right now. Like, Gilly is just teeny tiny. So we're about 7 meters away from our target landing site. 7 meters, 7 kilometers, and we're 6.7 away from the ground. So this is looking pretty good, actually. We're pretty on target here. There's still a little bit of leeway here. It's really hard to tell exactly how, how good this aim is <laughs> at this moment, but we'll just continue to head in here. Looks like we are heading retrograde here. That's not quite correct. Okay. We're going to need to head this way a little bit. Yeah. So, what just happened? Something happened there. Okay, let's bring this down to 1x. We need to head over this direction ever so slightly. So we're going to do exactly that. We're going to fire up our engines in this directionality toward the horizon. So at like this 315 degree marker, approximately. Maybe a little further than that. Maybe like out over here, close to the north marker. Yeah, about here or so. No, stop it. Just put it in this position. There you go. I just want to get a little bit of directionality out over here, then take it back to retrograde. Cool. How's that going to go? That did get rid of some of that horizontal speed. Let's take a look at our trajectory here. Okay. It's uh, very confused. 
<laughs> this is not how anything works. We're going to, I think at this point, well, let's take a look at where we are vertically. Okay. I'm going to kill all of our horizontal speed, and we're going to start heading over this way a little bit. So we're going to take this over to the marker here, over to the horizon, and we're going to just push our horizontal, or rather our retrograde marker, all the way up to the top. About there or so. Okay. Oh, I meant to cut the throttle. Yeah, this is about right. And now we want to take this over towards the north marker. Because now we're going virtually straight down. We want to take this over to about here. 315 is actually looking exactly right on where we want to be. So let's position this over here. And I'm just going to get us a little bit of horizontal speed out over this direction. Okay. Now we're going to take it around to retrograde. Because we're going to need to get rid of that speed once we're over our target point. How are we doing on trajectory? It looks pretty okay, actually. That looks reasonably fine. So this is currently saying about here. Yeah, we're going to want to get rid of some of that as we head over the crater conundrum here. We're pretty close. It's not a perfect trajectory, but it is very, very close indeed. Okay, let's put this in lock, and I'm going to... This is a weird directionality to be going. Hang on. Why are we... Oh, my hands are on the wrong buttons. That would, that would be a problem. <laughs> no wonder we were rolling. So we're just going to bring this over to about here or so. Yeah, about here. Let's get that roll under control. And I'm just waiting for us to pass over the crater here. And we're going to get rid of this horizontal speed. Some vertical speed will go with it from this position, but I want to be able to see up over here. Just waiting a little bit longer here. About now. Let's commence that burn. That looks good. And we're going to go to retrograde. Checking in on our trajectory. That looks really solid. So we just need to continue to drop here. And it'll take a little bit for us to drop. We're just going to need to get into position here and bring it on down. So let's go into 4x time warp now. We've still got another 1,600 meters per second to... Or rather, six meters per second. 1,600 meters to go here. And I'm wondering right now about the hill position, but we can grab some science here, which we should do. That looks good. We might actually be better off landing, like, down over here. This is on, like, the wall of the crater, right? Um, ish. Ish. So landing on this side is probably better than landing on this side. Yeah, that seems reasonably okay. So we're currently about 600 meters from the ground, continuing to warp down here. Moving at about 16 meters per second. Excellent. Let's bring this down to 1x warp. We're about 350 meters from the ground. I'm going to commence a very, very gentle burn for right now. I don't want to slow down too much, but I do want to slow down a tiny, tiny amount. A little more than this. Okay, we're down to 10 meters per second. Let's turn that down ever so slightly. 7 meters per second. Okay, we're at 5 meters per second. This is a little too much. I'm going to shut down the engine here. We're still 100 meters off the ground. Moving at 5 meters per second. 80 meters off the ground. Keeping an eye on this shadow. Okay, I'm going to gently decelerate us. This is at 1% thrust here. 
4 meters per second. 3 meters per second. This is a pretty steep landing point, so we'll see how this goes. Okay. We're going up right now. Let's uh, position at up. Thank you very much. We're just kind of cruising sideways at this moment. We're waiting on gravity to bring us back down. Gravity is so low here. So very, very low. Okay. Let's uh, put this into stability assist mode. I want to allow it to tip us over a little bit. And just very gently set down. I'm going to turn SAS off for the moment. And just let it settle. Very low gravity here. Okay. Putting it back on. I think we're settled as good as we're going to here. So that looks good. We can run the experiment here and we can go EVA. That gives us our mission control. And let's head on back to mission control quick. It is past time to put a cut in here. So I am going to go ahead and do that. We are absolutely going to do, yeah. The first pass ex explanation for Gilly's survival. The impact is it's made of sticky stuff. Perfect. That sounds right. Thanks, science. So we have 6,000 science now. Is there anything else for us to do? on this particular mission? No. The answer is no. So we're going to get what science we can from this site, and then we're going to return home. But that is a mission for next episode. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Shadow Wolf, Atala, Ali Lee, Dark Horse, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman 12 UK, Kentogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video, and as always, I will see you all next time.